This 2007 BMW 525i is in excellent condition. It's metallic grey in colour with black leather interior. It's done 122,000 kilometres since it was new. It's got these beautiful BMW individual alloy wheels. Being an 07 model, it does have the updated dashboard and gear shift, as you can see. It's got two remote keys. It does have a sunroof. And just in general, the car's been very well looked after. You know those cars, you look at them and every light, every panel, every wheel is in great condition. I'd go as far as say BMW's best engines are their six cylinders. The 525i obviously has a two and a half litre straight six. Another thing BMW has always done with their six cylinders, they've always had straight sixes. Most other manufacturers like Mercedes Benz went from a straight six to a V6. Now they're going back to straight six. Whereas BMW has, uh, has stayed with the straight six, which is great. There's a lot to like about the straight six. I find they're more reliable and they certainly sound a lot better than a V6. As you probably found if you've ever heard, seen or driven a six cylinder BMW. Grey with black interior is probably the easiest colour combination to keep clean. And with BMWs, you know, for years I find the wheels make the car. And this isn't an exception. I mentioned it's got two keys because unfortunately over the years you know, often one key gets lost and they are expensive. It's got wood grain, navigation. BMW have two different types of navigation. You've got pro navigation, which is basically a full color screen. Then you've got basic navigation, which is basically a, an arrow which tells you which way to go. So if you go to navigation, see how you've got your color map there? That's how you can basically tell. But it's 122,000 kilometres. The car's been very well looked after. It's got some great features and drives beautifully. When you're looking at some of these BMWs, you can generally tell if they've been kept outside. You know, you look at the headlights, and you find along the top there, they start to oxidise. And they're just not nice and crisp and clear like these ones are. But I certainly think it's a very impressive example of the E60. It's also the update of the E60. They came out in around 2003. And in 2007 it got an update. The good thing about getting an update is often when they have a few little niggly issues with the very first of the series, they're certainly ironed out by now. You've got a nice big boot. So that's for golf clubs, luggage, school bags, whatever it might be. It does have a spare, a space saver spare. And it's interesting, you know, when the, the new 5 Series came out, there was a lot of criticism around the shape, and the, especially around the boot area. I think they used to call them the taxi back. And then suddenly, every manufacturer went in that direction. So what was originally, you know, a car which was described as not a great shape or a taxi back, whatever it might be, is now a very, very good looking car. And everyone seemed to follow from Mercedes to Audi, you know, the S-Class which was released in about 2006, basically got this type of... Uh, boot whereas BMW bought it out in around 2002 but it's a very impressive car we're certainly very happy to 
off it to here from the old timer center it's a rear wheel drive six cylinder bmw if you have any specific questions about the car please give us a call we contact one oh two nine five six nine double nine double nine we offer in-house finance and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have thanks again for watching the video we look forward to hearing from you